Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be solving a numerical based upon the circular sewer. Previously, I have added a numerical in which I have discussed about the formulas which are widely used for the design of a sewer running full or partially full. Here, the following numerical is based upon the circular sewer running partially full. Uh, if you haven't check out the videos uh, about the formula best use used for the design of the circle sewer circular sewer running partially full and uh, total completely full you can check it out in the link in the description and without wasting time let's begin the solution of this numerical here let's point out what we are given in the question uh, by reading the question we are asked Calculate the velocity of flow and corresponding discharge in the sewer of the circular section having diameter equals to 1 meter. Means we are given the diameter capital D equals to 1 meter laid at the gradient of 1 in 500. Means we are given S equals to 1 by 500. The sewer runs at a 0 0.6 meter depth means we are given the value of small d equals to 0 0.6 meter means the sewer is running partially full use Manning's formula and we are given the value of n equals to 0 0.012 and let's draw a rough sketch of the circular sewer suppose this is our capital d which is given 1 meter and uh, here the circular is running at the depth means we are given the value of a small d equals to 0 0.6 meter and here it is the central angle is theta and this is our triangle OPQ now we first our first question is to find the velocity means uh, if we write the formula for velocity we have v equals to 1 by n times r to the power 2 by 3 into s to the power 1 by 2 means from the question we have the value of n and s but we need to find the value of hydraulic mean depth which is denoted by r so let's see and guys remember one thing whenever we are designing the circular sewer which is running partially full in that condition we use the pro proportional value means proportional area proportional hydraulic mean depth or proportional uh, weighted perimeter so we have the formula for proportional uh, rugosity uh, sorry hydraulic mean depth that is given as capital small r upon capital r equals to theta oh sorry 1 minus 360 sin theta by 2 pi theta and the pro formula for the proportional area is small a upon capital A equals to theta upon 360 minus sin theta upon 2 pi means first we need to know the value of theta so let's find the value of theta as in the previous video I have already told you that cos theta is equal to b by h and b is this in triangle o q r uh, b is this and h is equals to d by 2 which is radius of this circle so we can write it as b can be written as this whole portion this whole portion minus this d so d by 2 minus small d upon hypotenuse is d by 2 which is equals to 1 minus 2d upon capital D now we already have the value of small d and capital D write it down here we will have cos theta equals to 1 minus 2 times small d 0 0.6 by 1 equals to 0 0.6 implies cos theta by 2 implies theta by 2 equals to cos inverse 1 minus 2 into 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2 implies 
theta equals to see here how to find the inverse shift and enter this symbol cos then you will have cos inverse minus 0 0.2 which is equal to 101.53 times 2 this 2 is multiplied this side the final value of theta equals to 203.07 degree now after finding the value of theta let's find the weighted area sorry proportional area then we will have a small a upon capital a equals to theta means 203.07 by 360 minus sine 203.07 upon 2 pi and here the proportional area can now after calculating the proportional area let's calculate the area of the uh, sewer when it is running partially then it is given as a small a equals to 0 0.6265 into capital A equals to 0 0.6265 into pi by 4 times d means whole d because this is the area when the sewer is running full so we need to assume the whole diameter which is 1 now on solving this you will get the value 0 0.492 meter square now after finding the area let's find the value of uh, hydraulic proportional hydraulic mean depth guys if you are facing any problem uh, in uh, uh, understanding how this formula came then do check out my video previous video which is uh, whose link is in the description and uh, from here let's find the value of hydraulic mean depth small r which will be equal to 1.1106 into capital r capital r is the rugosity hydraulic mean depth when the sewer is running full and uh, on multiplying this you will get 0 0.2776 now after calculating the value we have got the final answer now put it in the equation which uh, which is for the velocity we have v equals to 1 by n times r to the power 2 by 3 into s to the power 1 by 2 so put it here 1 by value of n is 0 0.012 into r value 0 0.2776 to the power 2 by 3 times s the value of s is 1 by 500 to the power 1 by 2 and on solving this you will get 1.586 meter per second now we are at the end of the numerical now uh, we are uh, the second question is we are asked to find the discharge and we know discharge q is equals equals to area times velocity this is velocity of the sewer when it is running partially full so put the value of a small a and we have the value of a small a which is 0 0.492 0 0.492 times velocity is 1.586 and on multiplying this you will get the discharge which is equals to 0 0.78 cubic or cubic meter per second cubic is equal to cubic cubic meter per second is actually written as cubic so i hope this video was helpful to all of you guys do subscribe to my channel and if you want more videos related to engineering subjects uh, and uh, thanks for watching this video once again and do share with it with your friend and do like thank you